Welcome to my art vlog. In this episode, I have a lot of recent artwork to show you. I have a couple news stories to talk about and I have an artist to showcase. So let's do it. <music> Greetings and thank you for tuning into my art vlog. My name is Troy Thomas and I am an artist. Now I have a lot to go through in this episode. My last vlog went over 17 minutes long. So I'm going to try to keep this one a little bit shorter than that. So I'm probably going to go through this stuff a little bit quicker than usual. So first up, I have some sad news. The art world has unfortunately lost a great artist that I admire, Carmen Herrera. Now Carmen was born in 1915 in Havana, Cuba, and she died on February 15th, 2022 at the age of 106 years old. Uh, she died in her apartment in New York City, and I believe she lived in that loft apartment for the last 70 years. She's often described as an abstract minimalist painter and artist. She's created art most of her life while in Paris and New York City, but she really wasn't noticed until the age of 89. And if you look at some of her artwork here, you can see why I really admire her and her artwork really influences me. Now, if you really want to know more about her, there is a documentary, I believe it's on Netflix, and it's called The 100 Years Show. It was uh, made in 2015 when she was 100 years old. So if you like this artwork that you've seen, I really recommend checking out The 100 Years Show. Next, I'm going to talk about Victor Vassarelli, another favorite artist of mine. There is currently an exhibit of his art at one of the biggest department stores in London. The name of the store is Selfridges. There's 55 works on display. 37 of those are for sale, along with some freshly minted NFTs. Now, if you watched my last vlog, you would have heard me talk about NFTs. and I went into a little bit about what they are. So if, if you haven't seen that episode yet, I uh, suggest going back and checking out the last vlog episode. Now, this exhibit at Selfridges runs through March 31st. So if you're in London right now, or you're going to be going there in the next uh, couple weeks, I'd say check this out. I have no idea where Selfridges is, but uh, if I was over there, I would be hitting up this exhibit. So if you are unfamiliar with who Victor Vassarelli is, he's a French-Hungarian artist considered the pioneer of the op art movement. He was born in Hungary in 1906, and he died at the age of 90 in 1997. Now, many years ago, I saw an exhibit of his at a museum in Naples, Florida. It's one of the favorite exhibits I have ever seen. If you want to see more of his artwork, I would say head over to Google, type in Victor Vassarelli, and check out the artwork that pops up. Moving on to the artist spotlight now. This is the part where I feature an artist that I follow and really admire on Instagram. And for this episode, it is Tony Young. So hop on over to Instagram. You can find his account by searching for youngy underscore zero three. I'll spell that out, which it's also on the screen there for you. Y-O-U-N-G-Y underscore zero three. Now according to his profile here, he is listed as artist, art instructor, and donut destroyer. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. Wow, donut destroyer. All right, so take a look at his feed here. He creates a lot of really great and interesting things, uh, mostly mugs, some other uh, drinking vessels, uh, but he also does a couple other things. But these are amazing. One of these days, I, I want to get one of his coffee mugs because I think it'd be really great to drink some coffee or tea or beer or whatever out of one of these mugs. It's Oh, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just really cool. And I could go on and on, show you all kinds of artwork he's done. But, you know, why don't you uh, just head over to Instagram and you can, you can probably spend hours looking through his feed here. It is really cool. He also has a page over on uh, Etsy where he sells this stuff. Uh, the link is up at the top of his uh, account there. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to try to keep this video shorter than my last one. So in this next segment, I'm going to go over some recent art completions and I have a lot to go through. So I'm going to try not to spend too much time on each individual artwork. And I think I have 21 pieces to go through in this one. So let's get started. Uh, now all the artworks that I'm going to show you are in the size of 11 inches by 14 inches. They're all done on mixed media paper. There's a few different paper types, but it's all mixed media paper. Uh, this first one here is face 211209. 
Uh, and I created this with Secure Jelly Roll pens. All right, before moving on to the next one, I think I need to mention that uh, if you hear some weird background noises, it's probably my dog. She's in the next room over and she's snoring kind of loud. So I'm not sure if my microphone's gonna pick that up or not. So if that's, if you hear something weird, that's probably what it is. All right, so the next piece here is another face piece, a little bit simpler this time. And this is face 211216. And uh, this is another one created with Secura Jelly Roll pens. The next two pieces I'm gonna show you, I introduced you to the series in the last vlog, and that is this square and rectangle uh, series. This is RL211231. And uh, it's just done with Secure Jelly Roll pen for the line, which you kind of see in the video, but uh, you'll see in the full screen a little bit easier. And the rectangle was done with Pilot G2 pen. Next is the square version. And this is SL211231. Again, with a Secure Jelly Roll pen for the line and Pilot G2 pen for the square. Here's another minimal, minimal piece that uh, it's a new series that I started. I'm not sure how for this series is gonna go, but uh, all it is is just a white square in the middle of the, the page here. Uh, this is on toned blue mixed media paper, and this is WS220101. The white square was done with a secure jelly roll pen, and with these pieces, I'm actually leaving the lead pencil outline around the square. Next up is X220107. This was done with Secure Jelly Roll pens. I sketched it on the 5th of September 2021 and finished it on January 1st this year. Next up is another one for my star series. This is star 220107 and it was done with Secure Jelly Roll pens. If you wanna take a longer look at any of these pieces, feel free to hit that pause button at any point during this video. Next we have an abstract minimal piece. This is titled Abstract 220115. And I created this with a watercolor pencil, Pilot G2 pen, and Secure Jelly Roll pen. It was supposed to only be one pen, but I made a mistake and switched in the middle of the process, so we actually have two different pens used on this. Now we have a piece that's inspired by the uh, square and rectangle series that I just showed you. Uh, so now we have circles. This one's done a little bit different because I'm using the blue ink in the center and I actually have outline on this. And if you look close, there's a line also. So this is CL220117. And this is a series that I will continue doing. Here is another part of the X series. This is X220118. And this was created with secure jelly roll pens. As you may have noticed, I have a lot of different series going on and I don't like to stick with one straight through. I like to bounce around from one series to the next and just keep going back and revisiting those series. So with that being said, here is another new series that I'm starting. And this is called WB220119. And uh, basically it's just gonna be like a, a frame and then one bar going through the center, whether it's a vertical or horizontal. Uh, but yeah, so I think I've only had two pieces in this series so far. The other one will be coming up shortly. And this was done with secure jelly roll pens. All right, so here we go with another face piece. This is face 220125. It was done with secure jelly roll pens. Here's a geometric abstract piece. This is titled abstract 220204. This was done with Secura Jelly Roll pens. All right, so here's another one in that series that I just introduced you to. And this one is titled WB220204. And this was done with Secura Jelly Roll pens. Here's an abstract piece done on tone blue mixed media paper. This one is titled Abstract 220206. The black was done with Pilot G2 pen and the white was done with Secura Jelly Roll pen. All right, the next few pieces I'm not gonna spend much time on. I'm not gonna throw the graphic up because uh, it's just part of this uh, minimal series. You know, we got the rectangle, you got the square, and then uh, also I did the circle. So let's just keep moving along and we'll go on to this next one. All right, so there's a, a fairly minimal piece. 
This was done with secure jelly roll pens. This is titled Boxes 220210. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of white space left in there. I did this one as an experiment and uh, you know, I'm not quite sure how I like this yet. So I might make this a series or this just might be a one-off. Uh, we'll see. Here's one for my ring series. This one's titled Rings 220212. And the black was done with Pigma Micron pen, and then it was filled in. The color was done with Secura Jelly Roll pens. All right, so we made it to the last one. Uh, like I said, I was going to go through this pretty quick, and that's what I did. So uh, here is the last piece. It's the other one in that white square minimal series that I started. Uh, this one was done on toned gray mixed media paper. And in the next vlog, you'll probably see one done on toned tan paper, I think. Uh, this one is titled WS220213. So there you have it. That's all the artwork that I created since the last vlog. So who knows how many I'll create before I get another vlog out, but uh, hopefully it's not as many. We'll see. If you haven't been to my website yet, please feel free to visit that. It is www.artbytroythomas.com. All of these artworks that I just showed you are on the website, along with all the other drawings that I've created throughout the last 10, 11 years or so. Um, so feel free to take a look around and see what you like. All right, it's time to wrap up the video. My dog is snoring even louder now, so uh, before it gets too annoying, let's just wrap it up. Uh, but before you go, please subscribe to the channel. Come back and watch some more of my art vlogs. Uh, I put out a lot of time-lapse videos of some of the artworks I create. I think there was one or two pieces that I showed you here that uh, I'm going to put out as a time-lapse video. So uh, be on the lookout for those. But until next time, have a great and artful day.